Hi guys, George from Cypress Insight and today we're at the little town of Belarpas. We're going to have a look around. This is where the monastery is. And we're just underneath the tree of idleness. There's a tree there. And here you can see the Bella Pass Trail you can do. So there it is, the trail, and it's 11 kilometers, about five hours walking. So it's quite difficult, guys, what well, it would be around here because it's quite uh, mountainous. It would be up and down. Right, let's go around the village. Uh, which way should we go? I think we should go up guys and then do a circle back down to the car park area Right, we'll go up lots of uh, lovely little cafes and gift shops We're going to try and find Lawrence Darrell's house. Oh, there's a car coming. He wrote The Bitter Lemons of Cyprus. Look that up. Quite a good read. I think it's uh, up the top. And I don't know why I think that. I think we we came here once before, I think. There's the little doggy. Hello. Oh, it's a historic meal further up. Beautiful little village. I think we should go up because it says it's a historic meal. Most of these places have been restored. I haven't seen any abandoned houses or anything. There's a historic mill coming up on my left. It's a meal and a restaurant. There it is. Opposite this beautiful stone house. This is where the water runs down through the village. Can you see the bridge right at the top? How beautiful. Uh, I think Lawrence Darrell's house further down at the top. He lived here in the 1950s when the British were here and the Oka and Troubles started to kick off. And you can read all about that in his book. 
bitter lemons of Cyprus. More cars coming up, let's just be careful. They're coming this way, yeah. Or we'll go round. Coming in. Thank you. Oh, look. Look up there. An old ruin. And this old mill house at the top. Yeah, these are thick stone walls, cemented on the top. Oh, that's just cement. Well, it's just, just the way they've done it to make it look nice. Nothing particularly significant. And look at these plants growing off their walls. An old ghost sign, Walnut Cottage. Mm. Cottage. Oh. Right, we've just asked for directions as we got lost. We've got to go left. Down this road here. Definitely lemon season now, isn't it? Look at that tree covered in them. I think I spoke too soon. Look, an abandoned house. Look at that. Right, it's got a newish door downstairs. Upstairs, original doors, an extension on the side. Oh look, there's one for sale here. Totally restored. Look at that. Yeah, if anyone's interested. Beautiful little village. It must be this one here. Number five. This courtyard and the abandoned house. Oh, it's not really abandoned at all, guys. There's someone living there. It must be living in the extension. Look washings up and they've got scaffolding so it looks like they're doing some repairs beautiful mandarin tree in the courtyard now i think this one's been abandoned the ground floor anyway yeah there it is number seven has but upstairs it's been restored someone living there right we're gonna go ah here we are up the top oh follow the footprints yeah maybe that'll take us up to the right destination Love these little old houses. What's this? Uh, looks like a, used to be a house here or something. Look at this little terrace of houses. Nice. Let's keep going. The lady did say it's going to be a bit of a climb. Here's the house. There we are. Built in 1893. Get a bit closer. There's the sign above the door. Bitter lemons. Lawrence Durrell lived here between 1953 
and 1956. So only three years. And I'll go around the back and show you. It's got a little courtyard. There's the house, the yellow one. And there's the entrance to the courtyard. There. And then there's next door's courtyard. There, can you see? And there's the back of the house, if you can see it just about. There it is. Not a lot left. And then there's a pathway that will take you over the bridge. That's where he'll probably be writing his book. And you can see the view to Carinha down. Just through the gap between the two houses. Right, we'll go along this narrow road round and back down. Oh, so we've got to make our way down to the monastery. You can see it down there. Look out for the video of the monastery walked round. It's a beautiful little cafe down there with all sorts of quirky furniture. Right, it's another little village house for sale. Oh, and this one nice, look. All fully restored. I think it looks quite new, this bit rather than restored here's the phone number if anyone's interested 0533839 oh a lovely little house so there's the little house and then it's got a arches and a courtyard by the looks of it yeah a little courtyard garden oh and a swimming pool I think it's got further down, have a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's the walls to it. Oh, it's got a little swimming pool as well. Look at that. Oh, it's quite a big place because it goes further down the hillside. So it's got a little house on there. Wow. Lemon trees, mandarin trees. It really is lovely. Oh yeah, there's no wall here. You can just fall down into this little allotment. Right. Right, does anyone want a mandarin? Shall we just try one? There we are. Right, which one shall we have? Now we'll have this one, shall we? Right, there it is. Oh well. Peel it. Right, there it is, that's a mandarin. Let's taste it. Mmm. Mmm. Really juicy. Mmm, delish. Another house that's totally restored. What a lovely job they've done on this one. Look at that. I left the original beams in. Built in 1825. What a fantastic job. There we are. Oh, there you go. You can rent this for your holiday. Oh, I don't think we can get out this way. So, sorry, sorry. Oh, the doggy said we can't get out this way, you have to go back. Right, okay. Fair enough. 
tonight guys we're going to a gala dinner all the proceeds go towards tulips which is a cancer charity all in a good cause there'll be tribute singers there and all sorts of things going on we'll be recording it so if you're interested look out for the video right let's go down I'll tread carefully now don't come up here in the summer with flip-flops guys It's uh, a little bit dangerous. It's fine if you've got appropriate shoes on, like trainers. Look at this beautiful old house, built in 1922. Look, a little shop. Tatalysis Lulu Market. Tatalysis Lulu Market. What was that? A gift shop? Oh no, it was a little uh, convenient shop. Oh, here we are. There you go. Let's have a look inside, look. So there's the tree of idleness. There we are. Tree of idleness. And this is where the old men will sit under the tree after work in the afternoon for their lunch break and then decide not to go back to work in the afternoon so that was a lovely little visit to Bella Pass don't forget to like and subscribe and if there's somewhere you'd like me to go put it in the comments below